Hi, Darren Hyde with, along with uh, Chris Daughters from the Caddis Fly. Um, this is part two of, of uh, tying the, the blue, the Flow Blue Articulator. Um, we've got our prepared shank here, and now we're going to go ahead and, and incorporate the materials. Uh, first off, we're going to um, we're going to tie in a, a Flow Blue Black Barred Rabbit Strip. We start back here at the butt section on this particular fly, and we want to uh, we want to wet that rabbit strip just a little bit. A couple of wraps. Next uh, material we're going to do is is uh, some micro lateral scale. Um, this stuff is really nice to work with. It gives you that nice sheen and texture. It's got a little bit of blue components, a little bit of pearly green components in there. I just want to measure this up to this to the sides of the the overwing and tail fiber. I'm going to grab this. We're going to just tie it in here. Don't worry too much about the fibers there that are going to swing back on you. We're going to all seal this down anyway, so and we're going to take that, fold it back over on the other side. A couple three wraps, size it up and give her a clip. Next step is um, cross cut rabbit strip in a flow blue. I've basically cut this in an angle. If you can see the angle that I cut, that just allows uh, uh, less build up and kind of gets that that material started for you on the angle that you want. I tie it in with the um, the skin facing you. That way when you turn it over it won't roll back on itself. It'll just uh, it'll go. It'll start wrapping. We're just gonna 45 degree wrap forward just like that. Pull those fibers down. We're gonna tie that off. We're going to separate these uh, rabbit fibers and just fold that over. It'll pinch down. And we're going to lock that baby in there. Okay. Next step is some legs. And I just want to size these legs so they're about the length of the wire. down the side there. Okay, we're going to size that pair of legs up with that wire. Give her a hair, a little trim in there. Okay, next material we're going to use is a product that I just absolutely have fell in love with. This stuff is called uh, Enrico Puglisi's uh, Foxy Brushes. They come in a bunch of different colors. If you can notice they've got two textures they've got a little bit of UV in there they've got some black tips on most of the colors and uh, just a very awesome product um, what I've done here if you'll notice I've clipped my left side I I like cutting left sides of my hackles or um, like guinea feathers um, it's just easier for for me to work with uh, you can tie them in whole if you want. It's going to give you a more fuller look, but this particular pattern, I I like to um, I want to keep it somewhat sparse. I don't want a whole lot of gaudy stuff on there, so we're gonna we're just basically going to make about two or three wraps on this. Okay. Okay, and that gives. It gives a little bit more pulsation, a little more movement in the water, if you will. Next step we're going to do is we're going to, I've taken a, uh, a strung uh, guinea feather in chartreuse. And again, I've stripped my left side. Um, just again, added, added, uh, just works, works a little easier for me. You don't have to pick the material fibers out. 
Um, we're going to just tie that in at the four hackler collar. And uh, if, you, if you can see as I'm winding, it, uh, it lays really nice. Yeah, you're tying the stem to the hook. Stem to the tie. hook. I mean, I that's, always, that's the beauty of it. I always tie the point in first. Yeah. And two or three wraps of that. Sometimes those fibers want to stand up a little bit. You can just make a couple of wraps behind, if you will, um, just to lock those feathers back, and, and they'll they'll stay in place. They won't uh, they won't want to come forward. Okay, last and final step is is we're gonna we're gonna uh, create the head on this fly. Um, basically, what I've chosen here is uh, Senyo's laser dub in a flow blue. And I've got some already pre-sized. I'm going to put it, form it in a dubbing loop. So I'm going to, I'm going to get a loop going here. If you can, you'll notice. Take a turbo dubbing twister. I'm going to slide it in there, and just um, put your fibers in between the loop. Give it a spin. We're going to lock that material in there. It's going to give it a rope effect. You can slide your fingers up and down if you want, just to kind of get it a little unison, if you will. Move our thread to the front, and basically we're just gonna we're gonna do a uh, figure eight over the head of this fly, or over the eyes. Sometimes you have to just kind of manipulate it a little bit. There are about three locks in there. As you practice this, you can actually get your dubbing just perfect so you don't have any extra, but if you do, it's okay. All right, quick whip finish here. Little head cement or clear cure goo on the on the uh, the whip finish. We'll lock it all in. Quick five second zap. There you go.